Let's take a look how to make this ghost text effect here in Photoshop. This is my artboard size I gotta go with. And for the font, I gotta go with Basker Veal Medium Oblique. I'm gonna leave a link in the description with the font. So let's go to the font layer, right click, convert to smart object. Let's go to the filter, blur, select Gaussian blur. And I'm gonna go with two, click OK. Let's go to filter again, noise, add noise. I'm gonna go with 10, click OK. Let's collapse this. Press Ctrl J to duplicate the layer. Let's select the bottom one. And we're gonna go to the filter, blur, and select motion blur. The angle is gonna be minus 45. And I'm gonna increase the distance quite a bit, somewhere around 350. Click OK. And I'm gonna reposition these. I'm gonna select the top layer and just arrange it. So it's gonna look like that the text has some ghost extrusion. I'm also gonna rename this text ghost. And I'm gonna press Ctrl J to duplicate. So this effect is gonna be more intense. Do another copy. And as you can see, some of these areas are kind of dark. So we're gonna to need to open these up. I'm gonna select the layers with the motion blur effect. I'm gonna right click, convert a smart object, add a mask, select the brush tool, make sure that you're on the black color. Right click, and decrease the hardness to zero, and let's go up to the opacity here, and also decrease the opacity quite a bit, so you won't be able to delete it 100%. Press Ctrl J to duplicate, I'm gonna decrease the opacity. Let's click on the top layer, let's go to adjustments, you also can select the curve, and adjust the curve eventually to add or remove more contrast. I gotta go something like this. Let's go back to adjustments, scroll down, select the gradient map, Click on the gradient, and this way we can add some colors. I'm gonna bring the white into the center, select the black. I'm gonna click on the color, and I'm gonna make it a lighter gray. I mean, still dark. Click OK, press and hold Alt, drag the handle to the opposite direction, click to release, and here you can add some colors. Let's select one of the whites. I'm gonna go with the red, click OK, select the second one. I'm gonna try it out, a green maybe. Click OK, click OK. And if you zoom in, you can see these lines in it. So we're gonna need to make them disappear. Press and hold Alt, and let's go down to this little plus where we create the new layers. Click on it. We're gonna change the mode to Overlay, and make sure to check the box with Fill with Overlay Neutral Color. Click OK, right click on the layer, convert to Smart Object, let's go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise, and I'm gonna go with 7, click OK. And that's how I make this ghost text effect extrusion here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.